So, you know, um, I'm not, I guess you could say I medicate sometimes to compensate. What you want, what you want, what you gonna do when Sheriff John Brown come for you. Driving through the neighborhood and then I saw these three guys standing with each other when I came back around to check on them. Uh, immediately split up. Two of them remained where they initially saw him and one walked in my direction. He kind of had a paranoid look to him, like he was uh, getting ready to run. Hey, what's up, man? Not much. I'm just trying to wait for my taxi. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Um, I just came from my uncle's and I'm waiting for a taxi. Do you have an idea of your driver's license with you? Uh, I'm sorry, thanks. Uh, you ever been arrested before? Uh, yeah, I've been arrested before. Yeah. What have you been arrested for? Oh, here it is, right here. And initially tells me he was there visiting his uncle and kind of pointed in a direction not where we were at. It was just kind of odd to me that he'd be waiting there for a taxi and not at his uncle's house. Knowing that this area was known for narcotics, I, I asked if I could search his pockets. Got even more nervous and said that I couldn't search. In the meantime, dispatch center tells me that he had an active misdemeanor warrant for, um, for battery on a police officer. Just based on his behavior, I kind of knew that there was a reason why he didn't want me to check his pockets. So I went ahead and asked him if there was anything in his pockets. He wanted to let me know about ahead of time. Okay, so um, does honesty do any good right now? Yes, probably. Okay, stand up, stand no, up, listen, listen, stand up. I have, I, have, I have a little bit of something in my pocket, yes. Do you have anything that's gonna stab or poke me? I don't think so. I have, you a, have a needle a, on you? Not on me. Do you have one in here? Yes. You do I have, have one in there. They, they haven't been opened. Is that the little sum you're okay. talking about? Yeah. I located a clear baggie, which contained a white crystal substance and tested positive for methamphetamine. Searching the rest of his property, I found a motorcycle title and license plate. Uh, let's just say that like, um, I uh, medicate sometimes mm -hmm. because right now I'm under a lot of pressure. I'm getting a house um, sold in escrow, but we only have two more days to get everybody out of the house and get everything out. I should probably should be on medication mm -hmm. for um, uh, like, uh, manic depressive. Mm -hmm. you know, so, it's, um, I'm an artist, and it's one of those things So does the methamphetamine kind of, like, help you out, or? It's not, it's not the same thing as, like, it is for somebody else. Mm -hmm. like for, for me, it's, you know, it calms me a little bit. The title that I found in his possession, along with the license plate, came back not registered to him. The owner tells me that our suspect was a previous roommate of his, and he did not have permission to possess either one of those items. However, he did not want prosecution. He just wanted his property back.